Even then, it was difficult for me to write things down. So I tended to think in pictures and diagrams that I could visualize in my head. According to quantum mechanics, space is filled with virtual particles and any particles that are constantly materializing in pairs, separating, coming together again, and annihilating each other. In the presence of a black hole, one member of a pair of virtual particles may fall into the hole, leaving the other member without a partner with which to annihilate. The forsaken particle appears to be radiation emitted by the black hole. And so, black holes are not eternal. They evaporate away at an increasing rate until they vanish in a gigantic explosion. I don't know how clear-cut these experiments are, but they're experiments that have been done on sort of the timing of consciousness, and they seem to lead to a very odd picture, which doesn't even quite make consistent sense. Whether, whether refinement of the ex these experiments might actually get rid of this kind of anomaly, I'm not sure. But it does look a little as though there is something very odd about, about consciousness, and somehow almost as though the future affects the past in some way, over a very tiny, limited scale, but something maybe of the order of, of a reasonable fraction of a second. 